after uh, my last video about uh, my 50 uh, personal uh, uh, best and favorite thrust albums of all time from the old school thrust metal of the 80s and the 90s and uh, there i didn't speak about uh, uh, bands of the new uh, wave of uh, of uh, old school thrust metal only old bands uh, i have to speak also and to make another video about uh, uh, 25 other bands and albums also from the old school uh, thrust metal speed metal of these days um, so here uh, we have also another other uh, another 25 uh, albums let's see let's find out um, here I will bring uh, Xandrix from England and their debut album uh, Saturn Existence also a great great album of them and I'm continuing with an obscure thrust metal band from the United States, Rigor Mortis, uh, with uh, this album. Uh, also, uh, this mascot and this uh, cover art of this album is, uh, is uh, a little bit uh, known to the th to inside to inside the, the inside all the thrusters. They know this. Also, a very special album. Of Rigor Mortis. Now a very special also album that I like it so much. Uh, I'm speaking about Atrophy also from the United States and their debut album Socialized Hate. Also the song Socialized Hate is very 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 strong song. Uh, many people also like uh, uh, the next album of them uh, Violent by Nacho but I prefer a little bit this the first album of them a little bit more. And then continue with United, with United States, another technical thrust metal band, Realm. And if I'm not so Realm, they made in these years two albums. And uh, this is the first album of them by the name Endless War. Uh, inside this band was one uh, guy with Greek origin. So they made uh, a song Theseus and the Minotaur from the Greek mythology. And also they made a, a cover of Beatles, Eleanor, the song of Beatles, Eleanor B Rigby. And now let's go to Germany, a band that is inside the crossover uh, with leftist uh, lyrics. Uh, and the Nazi also lyrics and I'm speaking about Rumble Militia, Militia. I don't know if they are exactly crossover or punkish thrust metal, something like that. And their album Fuck of Commercial. Another band from the United States, uh, Evil Dead. I'm not sure if some members of them they had connection with Testament, but I'm not very sure about this. And here we have uh, their first debut album, Annihilation of Civ Civilization, also a great album. There are two albums of them, the first albums of them there were great. They made another new album inside 2020, something like that, if I remember well. Um, but I did like it so much, like their first albums of them. No. Now that I'm speaking about uh, some members of them, they were in, in connection with Angel Steel, not with Testament. Even not so. Let's continue with another also um, American band of the second or third wave of uh, uh, Bay Area thrust metal. It's some like something like that. These guys they played a little bit more technical thrust metal with some groove also elements, but they prefer their first debut album, Defiance, this is the first debut album of them, Product of Society. Another band also from the United States, they started a little bit even more like heavy 
US power metal and afterwards they became thrust metal so if I'm not sure this is their second album of them Las Rockit and their album of them uh, 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 Annihilation Principle uh, the cover art is a little bit more uh, re uh, reminds me chemical invention of tank art from Germany uh, here also they made uh, a, a cover of uh, Dead Kennedy's Holiday in Cambodia uh, also a great great thrust metal album and then continue with another uh, band from the United States Flotsam and Jessa in the last years they make great also albums and here i will speak about their second album of them the great no place for for this for a disgrace a great album with a great also cover art and now another band but this band is a little bit more uh, 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 let's say uh, a little bit it, it came after a year, some years afterwards and but this is not exactly so old school but we can't we we we, we can't say that they are in, inside the new wave of uh, old school thrust metal because uh, they are a little bit uh, older from this new wave and i'm speaking about the americans uh, uh, tourniquet if i if i prefer well if i uh, if i pronounce well their name a uh, tourniquet uh, they play a style of they play the style of technical also thrust metal with Christian lyrics, a great band, and this album of them, a microscopic view of a telescopic reel, it's a great album with great riffs. This album came out in 2000, in the beginning of the millennium. In my, if I'm not sure, the cover art is awful, unfortunately, but it's a great great album. Another band from Germany of Teftonic Thrust Metal, uh, Death Row. Death Row. Their three first album of them, they are great. And here I will bring their debut album, uh, Riders of Doom. Great uh, Teftonic German Thrust Metal, a little bit uh, very close to Creator, to the old Creator style. <clears throat> and now uh, a band from Sweden. If I'm not sure, they made only one album, and I'm speaking about Agony uh, from Sweden, and their debut album, the uh, debut and only album, and uh, the first Defiance. Uh, they started uh, like a punk uh, band, and afterwards they became thrust. So in their thrust metal, you can listen also the punk influences of them, of their past. And now another technical thrust death metal band between thrust and death metal Solstice from United States. There is another band Solstice, very also great band from England. They play epic doom metal, but here we speak about the thrust and death Solstice, and their debut also album uh, by also this name Solstice. Great great album. and uh, let's go now and speak about a, can a very great canadian band uh, voivod uh, many people prefer the the albums of voivod from king killing technology and afterwards but i like a little bit more their first more aggressive albums of them and here we bring their debut album war and pain also, the influences of Venom, they are very strong in this album. And then continue with uh, Canada, another band that maybe they are not exactly thrust metal, but they are one of the bands that um, came, let's say that they are the forefathers of thrust metal. And I'm speaking about Anvil from Canada and their great, great album, a uh, forged in uh, fire and um, many people maybe will say that this album is a little a bit more pro thrust or speed metal in any case it's a great album very close to thrust metal 
Now a band from Greece of the old school thrust metal of these days, of the 80s and the 90s. And um, I spoke in the in, in the video in the other video about flames, and here we'll speak about despise. Here I have a, a demo of them. I'm not I'm not sure if they made a real um, a, a album, but here I have one demo of them by the name uh, Infinity Force, and it's very great. It's great, great, great. Old school thrust metal from Greece. Here I will speak about another band from the United States that they are also with one only album. And these guys, they made uh, a connection between jazz and thrust metal. I'm not speak about moderate, I'm speak about Blind Illusion. Blind Illusion and their album, The Same Asylum. Some guys of them afterwards they they, they went and made they, they make uh, the band uh, they made the band Primus, another style of of course, but here we have Blind Illusion, great great also a band and album. Now, also I'm speaking about United States. I'm thinking they are they are Americans, and I'm speaking about Master. Master, they are something between thrust in their first albums between thrust and death metal. Some people they will say they are either more death metal than thrust metal, but I think that in the beginning they were even more thrust death. So here I have uh, uh, the unreleased uh, uh, album of uh, 85 of them. Um, some people call it Funeral Beats, but it's not exactly the, the name of the, of the album. Most of the time, they call it as the unreleased album of uh, 85. Great album, with great riffs, Frost Death, and I think that uh, maybe this album is one of the first influences of the first wave of black metal also. Many people maybe will not agree with this uh, um, opinion, but it's also a great, great album of Master. And let's go now to another band, also from the United States. Something between crossover and thrust metal. And I'm, I'm speaking about this band that maybe I, I call it uh, Etrop, their name, Ken. Even that it's read Zotrop. Uh, the name of the band is really Etrop, if I'm not sure. These guys also, uh, they played a very special style of speed thrust metal. They call it in these days, street metal. And this album of them, A Life of Crime, if I'm not sure, this is the second album of them. And they are from Chicago, they were from Chicago. So here we have some uh, uh, guys from the Mafia of Chicago, Al Capone, not only, but this is also a great, great album. And now another band from United States, something between thrust and death metal, uh, with also Christian lyrics, and I'm speaking about uh, Incubus, not the band that the the the, 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 the there are another there is another other band uh, of indie rock by the name Incubus. No, no, I'm speaking about these guys, the Thrasers, Deathsters, Incubus, and their first debut album, Serpent Temptation. A great album from all wow, great album. They made another album afterwards, and they also this they they remake this album afterwards uh, with different vocals. And and I but I prefer this first version of this album. Uh, another band that also between thrust and death metal from Italy and I'm speaking about sadist I know also some people they will say that they are these guys are either more death than thrust but they prefer to put them inside the thrust metal their debut album if I'm not sure above the light and they are very close uh, to the sound of sadus from the United States these Italians guys And then continue now with another American band, a little bit even, oh, um, these guys they were even something between crossover thrust, uh, groove metal, something between all of these. 
and them speak about the power mud and there the, the, this is the debut album of them absolute power and uh, they became so famous because of the song slaughterhouse the uh, handbangers ball uh, of mtv in these days they started uh, the they started all, uh, always in these days with this uh, song, uh, Slaughterhouse. Great also album. Now, another band, also not exactly thrust metal, but um, in the beginning they had also thrust metal elements, crossover elements, punk elements, and I speak about Quar, and their debut album, if I'm not sure, Hell O, Hell O. And okay, great also band in this album, especially they're, they have very uh, big punk influences. V it reminds me High Rax from the United States, especially this band, this album. And I will put it also uh, here inside um, this uh, thrust uh, uh, crossover and speed uh, uh, metal albums. And I'm continuing with uh, an underground thrust metal band from the United States. They, they did became famous, a Chemical Annihilation. And they made in 1989, they made some demos. This is a compilation of their demos by the name Why Die. Uh, if you find them, they are great, 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 great. And I will bring here another also band from England. And I'm speak about Sacrilege. There are many Sacrilege bands. Also, there is another famous band from Sweden that they play melodic death metal. But here I'm speaking about Sacrilege from England. And they played something between. Um, in the first album, they played uh, punk thrust metal. In the second album, this is the second album, they played thrust metal with doom metal elements. In their third album, they played only doom metal, but great band and with uh, female vocals. Here we have their second album, Within the Prophecy, a great, great, great uh, album with great songs of thrust metal with some doom elements. And last but not least, another band from the United States between thrust and death metal, technical thrust. And then speak about Demolition Hammer. And this album of them, a Torture Accidents, Accidents also a great album with something between technical thrust and death metal also a great great album this was a uh, uh, other 25 albums of thrust crossover death thrust a uh, speed metal that are albums that i like them very very much from israel and from jerusalem stay metal and stay heavy